mode. Mmm, she sounds so sexy. What's up, all you beautiful and majestic people? Mm. I'm going to talk to you today about how to pass your ham technician operator's license test in less than 12 hours. Um, as some of you guys know, guys and girls know that follow our school, uh, we have been going through a process of establishing radio communications for our school, for our firing range and our camp properties, as well as uh, state forest lands that we operate on and, and a neighboring river. And of course here at the cabin too. So we've gone down the path of setting up VHF or on VHF frequency for that. Uh, that's running dual band radios, different things like that. I'm not going to talk about radios too much today, but uh, that gives our school communications. We're also going to be running, let me back up a minute. We're also going to be running uh, GMRS stuff around here for me and my family. MERS frequency when we're close to camp or even FRS. So we're going to be running a combination of our own VHF MERS, FRS, GMRS around here and for family use. And then, uh, of course, today I tested for my ham license. Uh, so this has really nothing to do with our school because ham is honestly of no benefit for our school. Um, I have to have the freedom and ability to hand a student a radio on different missions or whatever they got going on, search and rescue people that come in here and they need a radio tracking, visual tracking things we do require communications. Um, so ham is not really for that. So I've put this video in our playlist of radio communications for our school, just because it's radio, but it obviously has nothing to do with our school. That's a separate system. So this, this here is for me personally, last Friday. Yeah. Today is Wednesday. So last Friday, I made up my mind that I was going to, this year, I was going to go ahead and get my ham license. So what I did is, is, uh, talk to some, uh, a man that, uh, you know, does this, he's a, uh, uh, examiner coordinator and things like that. So he kind of gave me some resources to help me study some online things, some apps for your phone and whatnot. And I'm going to give those to you guys today. So Friday evening, I talked to him. He provides me the apps that I can download on my iPhone. And those apps are HamTech, HRE-Tech, and then a website, which is hamstudy.org. So honestly, HamTech, HRE-Tech, or hamstudy.org individually is all you need. Uh, but me being who I am and the way I roll is I wanted all three of them. So Friday, I don't know, probably late at night, man, maybe even early morning, midnight-ish, 2 a.m. I'm here with my seven-year-old daughter alone. I'm, you know, joint custody deal, whatever, but I'm raising a seven-year-old daughter. And, and I decide, because I'm up that late at night, had the TV on or whatever, I said, okay, let's start studying. Let's see what's up. So I started going through these apps. And on the ham tech, you can study by weakness. There's links. You can take practice exam, study by weakness, or look at the correct answers. These are the exact questions that are on a test. By Saturday, And I continued that process of going through uh, studying by weakness and then taking practice exam and uh, study, 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 study. So by Saturday evening, I, you know, probably I think I, I, I was passing the thing one or two o'clock that afternoon, 12 hours later or so, I started passing it, but it wasn't where I wanted it to be. You know, I think you got to have a 74 on this dude. So I was like 77, 80, 81, stuff like that. So I, I wanted to bump that up. I wanted to keep going. So 12 hours just from my phone, I didn't use a book. I didn't order anything off Amazon. These were, these were apps for your technician license. I studied, 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 tested, tested, tested over and over and over. And I was pushing over 90 and, and even some 100s within 18 hours. So I continued that through Sunday, and it, it just became like this. It was just da, 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 all the way through this dude, and I got to where I was really comfortable with it. It was uh, I, the only things I were missing was because I took it for granted and was going too fast through the thing. So there's 300 questions a pool of 300 questions. The actual test is 35 questions. 
So you need to know a lot of the 300 for sure. Uh, the more, the better. But uh, I went through study by weakness where they just keep regenerating stuff. And I kept going, kept going, kept going, kept And I got to where I could answer all 300 questions without issue. And I did that 18 to 24 hours. I was passing the test in 12, very, very comfortable 18 to 24. Uh, so I went today, before I tell you, talk about today, the ham tech, the HRE tech, and the hamstudy.org, at the end of this video, I will put screenshots of the apps. So you can go to the app store and you can go to that one website of the three that I listed. They're all free. They don't cost you anything. You can pass this test in 12 hours. You can be really comfortable with it in 18 to 24. I did it juggling my seven-year-old daughter, goats, chickens, rabbits, my dog, business calls. I did all of that stuff on the side of, of daily life. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. So I'll put screenshots of that at the end of this video before uh, the video uh, closing pops up, but you can you guys can check that out. So today, uh, the gentleman that provided me the resources to study, uh, he's an examiner coordinator. He set up my testing today and had two other people come in. They got to have three folks to do it or whatever. It's radio club. So I go in there, I take my technician license test. I missed one question, made a 97. Uh, when they showed me after, after the fact and they showed me the question I missed, I was like, dumbass. I know the answer. You know, I just rushing through it or whatever. So then that was all good. So then uh, the coordinator asked me, would I like to take a shot at the general while I was there? So I'm like, you know, I don't really feel good. I looked at it a little bit, studied some, but I'm not, you know, my plan was to go home, study, go back and take the general. So I take the test. Why not? Hell, at least I can lay my eyeballs on the test one time. right? <laughs> so I take the test and lo and behold, I'll be damned if I didn't pass it. Now, granted, it was nowhere near as good as I did on the technician exam, but I did pass it. So still going to study, even though I passed it, I'm still going to keep working. Um, probably go for the extra extra amateur license next. I don't know. Most people just have the general. I may go and push it out to the extra. It's fun. Why not? So anyway, I passed uh, in about a 45-minute window. We started at 12 o'clock, and by 12.45 today, I had passed the technician and the general license exam. Uh, the FCC, believe it or not, it is about 340, yeah, 345 here right now. I left, left the, uh, the testing location around one o'clock after testing, ran some errands, you know, go to the hardware store, got some things I need to do around here, get home, take care of my little business around here. And the gentleman, uh, sent me a message about 20 minutes ago and says, the FCC's already given you your call sign. It's a done deal. So my call sign is... Kilo Oscar Four uh, Tango Victor Charlie. No, nope, let me look at that again. Probably fucked that up. Yeah, Kilo Oscar Four or Kilo Ocean Four Tango Victor Charlie. So that is my FCC, my ham call sign. I don't know if I'll get a vanity sign and change that or not. I can get my own deal made up if I want to. So I'll look at that later. Not a big deal. So that's it. Boom. So very grateful to Mr. J. Poindexter for helping me through this process. Uh, just keep going from here. Forgive my mess. I've got radio stuff everywhere. So getting pretty deep into this stuff, still working on school comms or whatever. But those three resources will help you pass that test within 12 hours and be super comfortable with it in 18 to 24. So no reason not to do it, y'all. I mean, go do it. What the hell, why not? It doesn't even cost anything. There's zero cost to the license. At some point in the future, they may start charging again or whatever from what I understand, but there's nothing right now. So uh, that being said, lastly, I talked to the coordinator and I know the guy, he's been here and, and taken a couple of classes from us and and uh, he's a fireman, then a real nice guy. We may actually start uh, offering some uh, ham radio courses here at our trainings, at our school for people in the area that want to come learn hands-on and, and not self-study like this. Uh, you know, so either way, I mean, you can do it either way, but we may start offering some of those classes up here a few times a year just to help people out and get them, get them comfortable with the process and to learn more from, from a guy that's been doing this for years and years. Uh, there'll be more on that coming, but, uh, that's it. Got some other things going on with the ham stuff after this. Uh, I'm not going to talk about that yet, but, uh, 
it's good times you guys uh, if you want it do it so check out these three uh screenshots i'm gonna put at the end of this video if you have any questions y'all shoot me a message give me a call preferably not after 7 or 8 p.m <laughs> but i might answer and other than that man it's all good so happy to have it done you guys stay safe got three-day class coming up this weekend so i gotta get out here and uh, get busy i got uh, radios to install and vehicles handhelds to to program for the weekend just to get by till i can finish everything and uh equipment and gear to pack up but that's what's up you guys stay safe take care thanks for watching please share the video like this thing whatever subscribe whatever the fuck these people say out here on the youtube list god bless y'all take care <laughs> all right y'all i knew i'd fuck something up real quick my call sign is Kilo Oscar 4, Victor Tango Charlie. I probably butchered that. Oscar fucking 4 had the T and the V backwards. I don't know. Fuck, too many law enforcement agencies using different fucking phonetic alphabets. But that's it. Kilo Oscar 4, Victor Tango Charlie. Here comes those uh, screenshots that I promised you. Take care, y'all. Stay safe.